So you're here because you want to know how to tether your phone or uh, you know get Wi-Fi uh, hotspot access on your Android device and you're not sure how to do it. And I was like that too. I had searched far and wide, um, you know, high and low for a way to get this to work. Found um, a couple of applications that worked for a little while, but then stopped working because I wasn't doing something right, I found out. Um, but they're, they're, you're here because you don't know what to do. You maybe have tried it before, you might have, may have tried Easy Tether, you may have tried FoxFi, um, PDA Net, you might have tried all of these, um, or you know some variation, and found no success. Um, my particular experience was, I'm on T-Mobile, um, I would try to tether, it would work for a little bit, and then it would, I would get a message saying that they, I didn't have a tethering plan, I needed to get a tethering plan to get it to work. So what I'm going to do is show you an application that works 100% of the time to tether your phone and to get Wi-Fi uh, sharing or Wi-Fi hotspot on your Android device, on any Android device, on any carrier. What you're going to need is an Android device, um, 2.3 or higher I believe, um, and a computer of some sort. Um, doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, if you want to do Wi-Fi, you're gonna, it's going to need to be a laptop. Um, and I'm using my phone to record, so I'll try to you know, figure out a way to uh, explain the, what you need on the device. I will leave the app that you will need in the description. Um, if you want to buy the app, you can do that. Um, it's $8. Or, if you can't afford it, I will leave a, 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 a link for you to download the APK file to you know, just install it on your phone. Uh, so let's get right into it on the computer side. All right, and on the computer side of things, the only thing you're going to need here is the PDA Net and FoxFi uh, application on your computer. Uh, just go to pdanet.co, um, click this download button right here. If you're running on a Mac, you will click this link here. If you're on Windows 8, 7, Vista, or XP, you will click this installer right here. And once we have it downloaded, uh, you just double click that, hit run. Um, I can't go through this process because I already have it installed. Uh, just one thing to note is that it will it'll ask you to install like three different times. Uh, just you know, click install, and at the end of it, it'll tell you that your phone needs to be in USB debugging mode. If you don't know what this is or you don't know how to access it on your version of Android, um, just Google that. Um, I can tell you on th this here, this is an emulator for an earlier version of uh, Android. Um, here it just has developer options. Um, I know on uh, Ice Cream Sandwich and KitKat there's uh, different ways to do that. But here, just from the, uh, the main menu, you'll go to Settings, and then scroll down to Developer Options, and then make sure USB debugging is checked. Um, it is unchecked by default, so just make sure that's checked. Um, and let's flip back to the desktop here. Uh, once you have that installed, you should see a little icon down here for the PDA net. It says it's not connected. Uh, the first thing, actually the most important thing that you need to know is to right click this icon, go to settings, and go to hide tether usage and make sure it is set to level one. If it's not, you may get a message whenever you go onto uh, your web browser, you might get a message that says that your carrier has either blocked it or that you do not have a tethering plan you'll get those sort of messages. You, if you have it selected on none, you'll more than likely get those messages. You might not right away, but eventually you will get those messages. If you have it set to level one, what that pretty much does is all the traffic that you're doing on your computer, it, it shows and it looks like it is coming from your phone. So it won't be blocked. Your carrier won't know that you're not using your phone for that web traffic. So make sure that is selected on level one. That that's that's the most important thing here, um, and that that will hide your your tethering usage. Um, also, if you are going to be sharing, I, I, if you were like a Wi-Fi hotspot, you'll click Wi-Fi Share. Um, since I don't have my phone plugged in and I'm doing this on an emulator, I can't show that part. But all you do is you click Wi-Fi Share, um, and then a box will come up. You hit Activate, and then you've got Wi-Fi. Um, and what we'll be doing is connecting the internet through USB. Um, but first we need to get the uh, the Android application set up. 
So what you'll do is you can go to the Play Store and there is a free version of PDANet. You can download that. Once you have the app downloaded, find it in your uh, in your applications menu. Um, click on PDANet. The only thing that you need to do is activate USB Tether. Once this is checked and once you have your phone plugged into your computer, um, you, you know make sure this is checked first and then you'll go t back to your uh, computer right click this connect internet um, through USB I've never done it through Bluetooth but um, I always do it through USB so once that box is checked um, on your phone uh, you'll do connect internet and you should have internet um, if you if you can't afford this for whatever reason it's eight dollars um, you know, it's always good to support developers, but if you cannot afford that, um, I will post a link in the description to the APK file. Um, it will have the PDANet application and it'll have the FoxFi uh, application. And you'll know that you've installed it correctly whenever it says uh, full version unlocked. Um, but if you want to make sure that this works for you, um, go ahead and download the free version just to make sure you can get it set up right. This will work. 100% of the time with any carrier with any version of Android if this is not working for you and you're still getting the uh, the tether block messages you are not doing something right uh, feel free to leave a comment you know tell me if I was if I was unclear about any step of the of the process let me know I'll make another video or I'll try to explain it out to you um, th just the most important thing here is to make sure your hide tether usage is on level one um, that was the problem I had using uh, Easy Tether and other applications like that. I could get it to work for a while, but eventually uh, I would get a, a Tether block message. Um, but if you're hiding your usage, uh, you will you'll be perfect. I've been using this for a long time now, no problems. Even after Android versions have updated, no problems here. Um, so if you if this was helpful to you. Um, Please subscribe or at the very least leave a comment. And if you didn't like what I said here, um, leave a comment too. You know, tell me why. Uh, constructive criticism is always good. Um, but either way, thank you so much for watching.